as Jen mentioned in the previous um, clip, uh, as employers, as individual employers, you're able to change what it is that you buy. You can change administrators, you can change consultants, you can change networks. But only as a cooperative of employers working together can we change what gets sold in the market. And that's really what the Alliance is all about. Um, we're united under the common mission of controlling costs, improving quality, and engaging individuals in their health. And I would argue there's never been a greater opportunity for us to make an impact or a greater need for us to do so. And in spite of all of the turmoil and uncertainty in healthcare, in the 21 years that I've been at the Alliance, I have never felt more optimistic about our prospects. Let me share some reasons why. First, there's all of you. The Alliance members are an incredibly engaged and active group, um, as evidenced by our participation in, in, in Alliance Learning Circles, which is at an all-time high. 48% of our member companies participate either in person, by webinar, or at the watch parties that we hold in Northern Illinois. And through your involvement in these learning sessions, we're creating a community that not only um, helps us do a better job of driving change, but as importantly, creates the relationships that make this process more enjoyable. And our ranks are growing. You saw Vicki mention our membership uh, in, her, in, her in her presentation. We now represent 191 employers who provide health benefits to over 37,000 employees and their family members. This is a 15% increase from where we were at this time last year. And as you can see from the pie chart, I'm, our membership is diverse. We've got members from across sectors, and that really helps us um, ensure that we don't have blind spots, that we're really seeing the diverse perspectives of purchasers who belong to the Alliance. In addition to diversity of members, we have longevity. Um, what you're looking at here is a slide that lists the members who have been with us for more than 20 years. And I'd like to walk through this briefly, asking the members um, who are here representing these companies to stand as I read your name. Please hold your applause until the end and we'll recognize them together. And I'd ask that during the break, these companies see Darla, who will be, um, Darla at the back of the room, there's Darla. Darla will be in the corner of the room um, for a quick photo. So, marking two decades with the Alliance. First Supply, Flambeau Incorporated, Foremost Farms USA, JX Peterbilt, Meat and Hunt, National Mutual Benefit, and Truck Bicycle Corporation. Celebrating 15 years of membership includes Park Bank, Plastic Ingenuity, Inc., QBE, The Americas, Tri-North Builders, and Wisconsin Mutual Insurance Company. And finally, we celebrate these members who have been with us for 10 years. Ho -Chunk, the Ho-Chunk Nation, Miniature Precision Components, Paragon Development Systems, Swiss Valley Farms, and United Industries. We value all of our members, and it is such a privilege to serve you. We have strong membership. Having strong membership is certainly important, but it isn't enough alone to achieve our mission. We have to do more. We have to take action, and we are. What you're looking at here is um, the participants in phase one of our value-based benefit design project. This is one of the ways that we can make a difference in healthcare by using the leverage of benefit plan design to drive change through incentives for our employees. And the concept of value-based benefit design has been around for a while, but over the course of the last year, we've moved from conceptual to um, application. Our phase one pilot participants, Blackhawk Bank, Bliss Communications, Flambeau Incorporated, HuffCore Incorporated, WebCrafters, and the Women's International Pharmacy gave us experience helping our members compile their data 
and to identify opportunities to improve health and lower costs. And they've also taken the approach of pulling together the vendors that they work with to hold vendor summits to both encourage coordination of efforts as well as create accountability. This year, we're moving on to phase two and taking our efforts in value-based benefit design to the next level. Bliss Communications, Flambeau Inc., Trek Bicycle Corporation and Women's International Pharmacy will be modifying their benefit plans to reduce barriers to high value care or to encourage other health promoting behaviors. Through the video clip and through Vicki's remarks, you've already heard several mentions of the Quality Path Initiative this morning. This initiative is another way that we're working together to drive change in the market. By clearly articulating our purchasing specifications and by resolving to move market share from those physicians and hospitals who don't meet our specifications to those physicians and hospitals that do, will create powerful incentives for providers to improve care while improving the care for our employees now. Briefly, some of the purchasing specifications that we're focusing on include things like ensuring that the procedure is appropriate to begin with, that it's necessary in the first place. We know that overuse and overtreatment are concerns in the areas that we're focusing on. Next, we're involving patients in the decision-making process. Where there's no clear right thing to do, we want patients to be in the center of the decision. And the studies have shown that when they are, not only are the outcomes better, they're more satisfied, and in many cases, um, they choose something that's less invasive and a lower cost. Another area we're focusing on through Quality Path is demonstrably better results. Quality Path providers will meet or exceed quality standards that relate to good outcomes for patients. It's going to take a critical mass of purchasers to make this work. And many of you have already signed our online pledge form to help us develop the Quality Path initiative and to evaluate it um, for implementation in your companies when it's ready. If you've not yet done so but wish to, there is pledge forms in your uh, packets or at the back Quality Path uh, brochure table, and you can just complete them today and turn them into an Alliance member. We're not working on Quality Path alone. Other purchasers also share our interest in assessing the quality of care. And this is another reason for my optimism. We've got stronger working relationships with fellow purchasers than we ever have before. In the public sector, Medicaid and employee trust funds, and in the private sector, the Business Healthcare Group, our sister coalition in the Milwaukee market. We've been fortunate to have their input throughout the process because we all share a common interest in assessing the quality of care and a belief that we shouldn't be measuring quality in different ways. We can align around a common uh, definition of quality and then pool our resources to measure and report care. In particular, I'd like to recognize the Business Healthcare Group, who's not only providing input, but also financial support for the project. Is is Diane Keel here? I thought I saw her a little bit ago. All right. Well, when Diane comes in, we can recognize her. Also, Jennifer Lemaire. Jennifer, would you stand? Thank you so much for the partnership. At the same time, at the same time that we're using our role as purchasers to drive health care, uh, we're also expanding our service area. The dark areas of this map represent our primary service area, and over the course of the next year, we'll be expanding that north from the, Tom from the Toma area to Eau Claire, as well as in the Green Bay market, in response to requests from our members um, to have a presence in those areas. On the health policy front, um, the work of the Health Policy Committee is helping us have an even greater reach. 
We've been actively involved in issues here in the state of Wisconsin and are participating on committees in the state of Illinois um, to improve things like workers' compensation. And at the federal level, we've been working with national partners like uh, the American Benefits Council and the National Business Coalition on Health to keep our members informed of regulatory changes coming through the Affordable Care Act, as well as to weigh in to shape those provisions that aren't yet decided. One of the other reasons why I'm so optimistic about this time in healthcare is that we are blessed with great leadership. Ed and Mike and Vicki, would you please join me on stage? Come on. Ed Herman of Monroe Truck Equipment and Mike McDonald, who are making their way here from Foremost Farms, will be leaving the board uh, after serving two three-year terms. Each has provided outstanding leadership, serving as board chair in 2011 and 2012. And we are so grateful for your guidance and leadership. And to thank them, we're recognizing them with this compass um, as a symbol of the course that they've helped the Alliance chart. Ed? Thank you. Vicki Brueggemann is our outgoing board chair, and Vicki has provided great leadership and guidance to the board and staff. We especially appreciate your enthusiastic support for uh, the Alliance. She is really a true champion. And instead of a tip the typical recognition gift that we give our outgoing board chair, Vicki has asked that we make a donation to Gilda's Club of Madison, which we have gladly done. Vicki, thank you so much. My final reason for optimism is our great staff. Would members of the Alliance staff please stand? Our cooperative is really blessed to have a wonderful staff group who each day are committed to our mission, to our members, and to each other. It is a pleasure to work with you. Thank you so much. So all of these are reasons for optimism. All of you and the work that we're doing together, the growing willingness on the part of our members to take action, the increasing collaboration that we have with other purchasers, strong board leadership, and a great staff. All of these reasons make me confident in our ability to blaze a trail to improve healthcare value. Before we break, I've got a few announcements. First, Alan, the results of our election. Excellent. We've got a unanimous approval of the slate of candidates, so thank you for your willingness to serve. And second, please visit the booths at the back of the room to complete your entry form to qualify for the iPad mini giveaway, which will be awarded at the end of the meeting.